Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So as the title says, today we are doing a good old fashioned will I buy it? On my channel we add a little French twist, we say oui for collections we want and non merci for collections we don't want. But today is special because we are doing this in collaboration with Grace at Everyday Edit. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you may know, I have my online beauty consulting service. This is a one-on-one -on -one video chat with me where you get to pick my brain about your beauty concerns and questions. So to make an appointment, click the link in the description box down below. Now, if you are familiar with me, you may know Grace at Everyday Edit. She is wonderful. Her voice is very soothing, very calming, a very classy lady. She talks a lot more about Tom Ford and Hourglass than I do, but we have some similar makeup tastes. And I think some of you who watch me may watch her and vice versa. But if you are not subscribed to her channel, I really would encourage you to go check her out and hit subscribe because her, like she just like me, is inching very, very closely towards 20,000 subscribers. And so we are very slowly army crawling our way up there. So please go ahead and subscribe to her channel. What's interesting on Grace's YouTube page is that she has this series that she just started where she looks at the different advice from various makeup artists here on YouTube, like Lisa Eldridge, for example. You know, sometimes Lisa Eldridge will do a video where it's just like professional makeup tips. And then Grace, what she'll do is she'll try those tips and see how they work on her. So it's a very interesting series. I thought I would mention that because there is a very good chance that you would also find that interesting. So let me just settle in. I have my coffee. Let's pretend Grace and I just met up at the mall. We're going to walk through the different boutiques, the different department stores with our coffee and just look at all the new makeup. So there is a lot of new holiday collection out right now. I am on the Way J03 one five instagram page here i'll go ahead and provide their links down below here we have the dior holiday collection this is um what's the word there's a lot going on <laughs> there's a lot going on here we have two blushes those blushes to me the dark plummy one looks like what i'm wearing today i'm wearing poison poison matte blush this is what it looks like because sometimes with these they just sort of repackage I don't know what the embossing is supposed to be. It says like a lot of cosmic, galactic verbiage is what I'm seeing here. It looks a little bit like constellations. Apparently Christian Dior, the namesake of the brand, was very superstitious and into astrology, so it makes sense. There are two nail polishes too. There's one that's like a classic red and a dark plum. So we can sort of see the blush and lipstick they're trying to, you know, create some color stories here. I'm very curious about the blushes. Is it, have we seen these before? I want to know. Then the eyeshadows, one is called 359 Cosmic Eyes and one is 589 Galactic. I'm not sure which one is which in this uh, photo here. We can see one, it kind of looks like a classic smoky just because the center shade to me looks like it's going to be a white or like a, like a silvery satin, but these are promo photos. We always have to take this with a grain of salt. The other one looks like it could be neutral or green. Like one of those colors looks like it could be green. And there's one nail polish. I think it's called Cosmic. This I'm guessing is like a sparkly topper shade. Wait, if this is holiday, why is the nail polish like this? Typically the Dior nail polish for the holidays has that like bobble um, packaging, remember? It's like round and the top is like gold. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's just a change here, but oh, I have a different photo here. So 359 Cosmic Eyes is the more cool toned classic smoky and 589 Galactic is more earthy, neutral, and possibly a green. The Dior Addict Shine packaging looks great. This is limited edition gold packaging with four shades here. I think this tube looks nice. It kind of, I think this might get very smudgy if it's like a metal. I wonder if it's, it says gold packaging, but I don't know if it's like a shiny metal. It looks really nice. 
It's like a nice combination of lip colors here. And then there's the classic Rouge Dior. I apologize if you can hear that. Um, but these look like a mixture of satin and matte. And a lot of the color story for the Rouge Dior looks very similar to the Dior Addict Shine. Maybe it's similar, maybe it's not. And then a lip maximizer. Who doesn't love a, a maximizer? I love them so much. This is going to be an orange gold shine. Interesting. It kind of looks like it's going to match the nail polish. That sparkly topper shade. These look great, but I'm really curious. Like, why is the packaging different? Is it just a promo photo? I want to know, but in the photo closer for the nail polish, they kind of look like they're going to have a little bit of like a shimmer finish not glitter but mystic and fortune don't look flat they kind of look like they have a little bit of like swirly shift to them so very very interesting let's move on to this is also the dior holiday collection these are the palettes every year they come out with these palettes this is écrit couture palette iconic makeup colors face eyes lips iconic eye makeup so there's an eyeshadow palette and then the face eyes lips palette the outside packaging looks gorgeous the gold band the cd embossing like yeah the packaging totally there so it looks like we have i don't know if it's a face powder or a highlighter then a five shadow palette two blushes and then four lip products if i'm not mistaken i think grace has gotten more of these than me like grace has gotten more big face and eye palettes than i have i like the idea of this but i feel like with the lips i feel like the lip lipstick and lip gloss is going to get like eyeshadow in them but i also like it i like the idea of it i think the packaging is great i wonder if these shadows like the the smaller eyeshadow palette this is five colors we see some mattes some satin one that's more sparkly there i think the color story is fine i'm not like oof totally like my heart skipped a beat need this i honestly feel like for the face palettes and the eye palette it's kind of like a non merci i've just never really like found one that i was like wow I need to spend my money but maybe if i saw it in person i would do like an impulse purchase but i think the, the big palettes are a non merci for me and i think the official holiday collection is a we oui, but like a mix of we oui and non merci like i need to see these i don't want to buy the same blush again because i've done that before with dior where i just thought it was like a new blush but it was the same blush but just different packaging so it's a we oui, but just like a pick and mix personally then we have the Miss Dior Mille Fiori collection, which I have talked about before. Um, so I talked about this a few weeks ago, a month ago, I think, before it was launched. I saw that it was launched on the Dior US site. It's not available for Canada, rude. Uh, but I'm going to see if I can find it through like Harrods or Selfridges. I love Miss Dior. I love the packaging. The flowers are just so girly and wonderful and just i mean it's gorgeous i think the candle is really small like i don't think it's like a big candle i think it's like a little one but it's just really pretty i would burn it i would use it up and then i would put like um makeup brushes in it lip liners eyeliners i would just like have it be part of my decoration of course it's so extra these two cases they're lipstick cases and they're limited edition i don't know which size lipstick it is if it's like a addict like a rouge what's it called like addict shine lipsticks kind of looks like that too but these are both limited edition they're both super pretty there's also a forever cushion powder i think the powder inside is one shade it's not like all the shades with different packaging just one which is quite unfortunate but i think the packaging is gorgeous i've definitely purchased cushions from dior based on the packaging yeah um 10 out of 10 on the packaging i'm not gonna lie and then there's these scented bath tablets so extra i'm glad they did that because chanel did this with chance and i'm surprised that dior hasn't done it earlier but yeah i mean for the miss dior collection personally it's a wee it's more just a question of accessibility for me so i'll see if i can get my hands on it through you know selfridges or harrods now moving on to the meat and potato to the the hearty important part of today's video chanel holiday i'm very excited about this uh yeah 
period. I'm very excited about this. This is just like the big overview here. So from what I understand, the inspiration here is the moon. Every year for number five, they have lots of gorgeous promos and commercials. A lot of it is like dancing on the moon, etc. So here we have it. Now, from what I understand, these highlighters, there will be two, and these are oversized, like the Le Beige. It's not going to be like this. It's going to be like a huge oversized highlighter. And there's going to be a rose one and one that's more um, golden. There's one called Rose, so pink, and then Crivre uh, Doré, so like a coppery gold. I don't know which one is in this photo here. I'm going to guess coppery gold. So if you look here, it looks like the number five bottle embossed with the moon. Like those are craters of the moon in the back there. Yeah, I want to get that. Then we have uh, Les Quatre Ombres, Ombre de Lune. This looks like a very beautiful, classic, uh, warm-toned, neutral brown palette. What's interesting is I've seen different photos online, and sometimes the shadows look very different. Like I swear I saw one photo where this eyeshadow palette, one of them looked like a peach, like super like orangey peachy. It was so weird. But then in this photo, I like this better. Um, yeah, I just looks, it kind of like they're not reinventing the color story. I don't care. Uh, I like that there's the CC logo, the number five, and then the other two kind of just looks like uh, the moon. I kind of, I feel like they could do a little bit more. I'm still gonna buy it. Who am I kidding? I just think it's pretty. I hope that the last one is like really dark and satiny to make like a really nice smoky eye for the holidays with some gold yes now moving on to this thing okay hold on the duo lumiere multi-use eye illuminating gloss gel no no merci so this remember a few years ago like several years ago they came out with these duos like this where one side was a powder color like a bright color and one side was a clear gloss and you could mix them together for lips, for blush, for whatever. I bought some. They weren't great. They were super drying. Uh, this is basically this, but it's eye or it's multi-use gel gloss. So it's golden. It's brown. So it's the same hues from the eyeshadow palette. Personally, I think I would rather light my hair on fire than wear eye gloss. I have hooded eyes and oily eyelids. Eye gloss, it, what, why? It literally just collects in the crease and is so disgusting. So eye gloss looks great for an editorial. It looks great on the cover of a magazine. In real life, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but no. Uh, so, I mean, if it's multi, I would use this as a highlighter, but then if I'm going to get the actual highlighter, why would I get this? No, no merci. Then moving on to the nail polish and lips. Now, I feel like the lip colors, I'm not, I don't know. I feel like both of these formulas, I don't love. I just don't the rouge allure lac the lipstick that's liquid i don't love the formula maybe if the colors are really beautiful i would like these more and those lipsticks they're fine but i feel like both of those new lipstick formulas when they came out they had too many reds like just reds and i was like not that interested so i just don't really wear them that much but maybe more of like the brownie neutral colors i'd like more then again i have so much lipstick i don't know if i really need them the nail polish to be honest i don't know if i'm super i don't know i don't know i feel like i love nail polish from chanel obviously but these ones here they're just not doing it for me i feel like i need to see them in person you know again it's a promo photo so this one here like dior has a red classic for the holidays and i think both of these have a shift but the claire de lune number 965 looks green but like with a shift so it could be interesting and then there's Etoile. this one is a top coat so it's going to be 
interesting. It looks quite dark in the photo, but it says it's a top coat, so hmm. And then we have two body oils, I believe. No. Number five is a gold body oil, and Coco Mademoiselle is a pearly body gel. I like that they have both because number five is holiday. It has been for a very long time, but Mademoiselle is more popular with younger people. It's a fact. So I'm glad that they're introducing Mademoiselle with the holiday. I don't think I've seen this in a long time. Have you seen? I feel like it's always number five, like the body gels, body oils that are really beautiful. So I'm just happy to see Mademoiselle here included. It's just, it's refreshing. So I might get one of these. I don't think I would get both. I don't know, I'll see. But they're both really beautiful and I'm not gonna lie, these are going to make for beautiful Instagram reels and photos for the holiday season. So I do think of that. And I don't know, I just like having beautiful things around me. Why not? So Chanel holiday. Yeah, it's a wee, it's a wee for me, definitely, wee 100%. I don't think I'll get every single thing, but most of it. How shocking. Now, moving on here, we have one photo of the Gucci Holiday. This is limited edition, and there's going to be two new lipsticks. This photo here, you only see one of them. So there's going to be 505 Janet Rust and 515 Devotion. I think the top one is Devotion because it looks almost... To me, this screams like candy apple red with like a fleck of gold, a gold reflection in it. And then the other one looks more like, I don't want to say brick red, but like a brown red. I have Gucci lipsticks, funny story. Um, Grace and I did a collaboration a few years ago when Gucci came out with their lipsticks because we each picked up a few shades and then we did a collaboration so people could see different colors. So, you know. It's one big circle. It all circles back to this. Uh, I think the packaging looks nice. I think Gucci is always an amazing packaging, let's be honest. So it looks like rose gold with yellow gold, and I think it's going to be high shine. I don't think it's good. I think it's metallic, like a like a shiny metallic finish. Really pretty. Am I going to buy this? Really, like I can objectively say it's beautiful, but like, am I going to purchase it? I think it's a non merci. It's just. I'm going to save my money for Chanel. Now, moving on to more Gucci, we have the new blushes. This is not holiday, but it's just brand new. So Gucci has finally introduced their blushes. They started off with lipsticks, then they moved on to powder and bronzer. And what else have they done? Eyebrow, mascara, face setting spray, no blushes. I think Grace has already picked these up. So uh, they have six shades here. So we have here Silky Rose. It looks beautiful. Like the packaging looks exactly like the compacts for the powder and the bronzer. Silky Rose looks pretty. Tender Apricot. I do like a warm blush. I like a peachy warm blush. Warm or tender apricot. Sounds like something I would be persuaded into purchasing. But this radiant pink looks super pretty. Objectively. This looks great. Um, number four, Bright Coral. This one looks like it has a little bit of luminosity in it. Don't you find? Like it doesn't look, if you look at the product, it doesn't look matte. I know it says it's matte, like a luminous matte. And technically this is for eyes and cheeks. So we finally have our Gucci eyeshadow here. Oh, they did have the giant palettes too, but those were not for me. Grace got the giant eyeshadow palettes. She loves them. But yeah, I swear that this one here looks luminous. So I think I might, this one is the one that interests me the most because I like a blush that's luminous because then it acts as your highlighter, two in one, less steps, perfect for me. And this uh, rosy beige as well looks luminous. So anything like that, I'm a bit more, you know, curious about. And this rosy beige kind of looks like that blend, that cross between a bronzer and a blush that just looks like your cheek but better i want to see if i can find these in store and swatch them because they look so pretty and then warm berry listen as far as execution of the packaging the colors like the color story i think it's great i like that there's only six blushes because how many blushes do you need but it looks like a nice range like i think it's inclusive in the shade range selection and the colors, the color story. I think it's great. 
do I want this? It, it's a wee, but not right away. Like I'm not gonna buy all six, first of all, and I'm not gonna buy these right now. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait for a Sephora sale. I'm gonna wait for a sales event, a points event, a gift with purchase, and I'm gonna go to a department store and pick up one, maybe two. I definitely wanna swatch all of these because I've tried so much Gucci makeup and I haven't been disappointed once, so that's good. So it's a wee for me, but I'm not rushed out the door. Uh, now we're moving on to Clé de Peau, and we have a couple collections here. This is the exquisite and exclusive Clé de Peau Beauty 40th anniversary sale, or a sale, no, no, there's no sale. It's the 40th anniversary collection, there's no sale. I never said that. Limited edition pieces of haute joaillerie, specially crafted to cradle Clé de Peau Beauty's most coveted skincare and makeup treasures. So joaillerie uh, is jewelry. So this looks like jewelry. <laughs> when I look at this, do you know what I see? I think of Harry Potter. I don't know why. It makes me think of Harry Potter and the magical wizarding world. I think it looks like the golden snitch. <laughs> Something about this. It looks extra, it looks gorgeous, but I don't know why. I, sorry, I don't mean to make fun, but like, it looks beautiful. It looks extremely extra. This is the definition of extra. It is so pretty. It also looks very astrology or astronomy inspired with the sky and the stars and the moons and the constellations. It's, I think that's why it gives me harry potter a little bit i don't know it looks gorgeous it looks amazing uh, i'm not even gonna look at the prices because i have a mortgage to pay but like i think it's gorgeous so i give it 10 out of 10 on execution but will i actually purchase this it's probably a no merci realistically however we do have the clé de peau a uh, holiday collection which is called Radiant Sky. Again, astronomy with the stars and the moon and the constellations. And we actually do see different, uh, I think, astrology signs or constellations on some of the packaging. So there is an eye color quad. I do have some Clé de Peau eyeshadows and they're nice, they're soft, they're very beautiful, very easy to use and blendable. They're very nice. And so it's nice to see a quad here from the brand. It's interesting to see the champagne, peach, dark plum, and then a green shadow as well. It's a very interesting contrast. So a lot of um, creativity there to, to be used and capitalized on. A gorgeous collection of luminizing face enhancers. It's going to be two colors available. Everything is limited edition. The packaging is raised. Like the compact, the blue top is not flat. It's raised. It's embossed. It looks like little valleys. It's it's Clé de Peau. It's extremely extra. And the Luminizing Face Powder also is raised. It's not flat. It's raised. Gorgeous. And there is a translucent setting powder as well. Again, the packaging looks decadent to die for extra. There is a collection of mini lipsticks like there always is every year for the holiday collection. So these are mini, which is nice because you get to try a whole bunch of different colors, but they're miniature. They're very great. They're great for travel too because they're very small. But then there's also like the classic size bullet lipstick. These are matte and satin as well. And the packaging for this is so extra. Not only is the case embossed and has the holiday packaging detailing, but the tube itself. If you look closely, the gold tube also has the packaging. Now that is how you do luxury holiday packaging. Chanel should take some notes. There's also going to be, or there actually is, this is currently for sale now. There's a cleansing set. There's the cream, la creme, the serum. Um, this is really nice because I love the serum. I've purchased it many times. It's really wonderful. It's very expensive, but it's wonderful. And I also really enjoy their cleansers as well. Clé de Peau does Clé de Peau does really nice stuff in general. I got lured into the brand with the concealers and then then it got hooked. And this is the special packaging for the creme. This is like their famous, the cream here. It looks like a diamond. It looks like a jewel. It looks beautiful and blue and so incredibly extra. So yeah, that is the Clé de Peau holiday collection. For me, it's a wee. I'm not gonna get everything, but it's like a pick and mix for me of the Clé de Peau holiday, yes.
So moving on here to Suku, this is Suku Holiday. Again, Suku is a brand that I still haven't gotten into. I know many people love it. I just, I don't know. I can't make the leap yet, but maybe one day I will. So to start off, there are two eyeshadow palettes. I think it's just the color stories of the palette. Something always kind of looks off to me. I don't know why. Like this doesn't look like holiday colors to me personally. It almost looks more spring or even fall. I don't know, but just not holiday. And I like the color stories. I just don't love them. And I always feel like there's one color that just doesn't go with everything. And so I don't know. But then I've heard people use them and I've heard people who really like the formula so maybe if i could just like get my hands on a palette and just like swatch it and see the formula for myself the problem is i don't have a suku counter so i have to buy something to test it out but maybe if they have like eyeshadow singles i'd be more persuaded however these blushes look enticing these look like two-tone it looks like a, a gradient of blush colors this looks nice i like the gradient it looks extra you could almost have two colors if you wanted to. You could swirl your brush around, make a mess. This, I think, is more interesting to me personally. This is how I would get into the brand with these blushes here because I just, I love it. It looks very extra. And then these are single eyeshadows. Okay, I could start there. I could start with the single. It's less commitment. I think if I was going to get one, I would get a 110. That's sort of like burnished, coppery, reddish brown. I don't know what, you, what color that would be, but this is something I could get into because it's like less commitment than a whole palette. And then these lipsticks here. So these are three moisture rich lipsticks. They look nice, but the color stories, I don't know. I'm just like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what's wrong with me that like Suku just doesn't do it for me yet. Maybe one day I'll find something, but I know it's for a lot of people. I know a lot of people love Suku. I just haven't really, I don't know. I'm just not into it yet. Maybe one day. And oops, I have something else here from Dior. Interestingly enough, they're gonna have two holiday collections. I know, right? Weird. But they're gonna have a backstage holiday makeup collection separate from their classic holiday collection. Why? I don't know. So this is two backstage eyeshadow palettes, uh, 008 and 009, and then two lip products for each collection. So the top one, I swear we've seen red eyeshadow palettes from the Backstage collection. Am I wrong? I feel like we've seen something similar to this before. And then it looks like it's a lip glow and then a lip maximizer. The lip glow and lip maximizer, I think those shades look gorgeous, glossy, red, cranberry-y. That's gorgeous. The bottom color, I mean, I love color. Green? Hmm. It's very holiday, it's very festive of like red and green. They really took it to heart. Like you want holiday, we'll give you holiday. Uh, I'm guessing that the green lip glow is not gonna look green. Maybe it's like minty, <laughs> maybe it's transparent and translucent. And then it looks like the maximizer is the one that we saw before from the classic holiday collection. Hmm. I'm very intrigued by this. I think this is gonna come out later than the classic Dior one. This will be more through Sephora and Ulta than department stores. I'm not sure why, but the Backstage collection I find is rarely at department stores. It's typically through Sephora and Ulta, but I think it's because with Backstage, the prices are different. They're less, less expensive. And I think Backstage is more geared towards a younger audience and trying to capture like the Sephora Ulta market. That's just my opinion and theory. Uh, moving on to Tom Ford, we have the Soleil Neige collection. So here are two eye color quads. This is not the creme, because remember they came out with the eye color creme formula? This says just eye color quads, so I think it's just the regular formula. But these are wet and dry, and we have Chalet Lust and Après Ski. So these are promo photos, so it's a little, always a little bit wonky, but I kind of, I don't know, I feel like at first I thought maybe Chalet Lust because I love if that's like a cool tone, taupey lavender, but maybe Après Ski could also be pretty. I definitely want to see real photos because who knows what this looks like. It looks like it was Xerox back in 1999. 
I'm sorry, YJ. It's just the, the clear, the, it's not that clear what these are going to look like. And it kind of looks like there's ridges in there as well. It's very interesting, but it's very frosty. It gives me like early 2000s millennial vibe, which, you know, the 90s are back and uh, it's now considered vintage. That's the word that makes me feel very old. But anyway, the 90s and 2000s are back in a vintage fashion. So it makes sense that the makeup is back as well, is back as well. So yeah, I definitely want to see these in person or just, you know, a swatch online, but probably great. I've never had a Tom Ford palette that was like terrible. I, sometimes there's like one topper shade that's not that great, but probably wonderful. And I'm sure Grace will say yes because she loves Tom Ford. Now this is the Tom Ford White Suede Makeup Collection, which I talked about last time. Um, so this is a large eyeshadow palette. You've got some lipsticks as well. Like I said, Grace has a lot more eye, face and eye palettes than me. So this one looks really pretty. Do I want it? I don't know. I'm going to wait for Grace because I'm certain she'll have these. A cushion foundation in the collection here. I'm guessing, I don't know how many shades are going to be. I feel like Tom Ford shade like foundations are pretty great and, and like inclusive wise, but I don't know about this compact here. I'm going to wait for Grace. I, I don't know if she'll get this, but she definitely has picked up a lot of Tom Ford face and eye palettes. And there's a couple of lipsticks here. The lipsticks, I think look nice but nothing earth shattering for me personally so that's probably a no merci probably no merci and last but not least we have a doozy we have the pat mcgrath holiday 2022 collection this is huge all right let me go ahead and read this off we've got the mothership mega celestial nirvana palette now this is so extra like the outside case the pink the gold so extra I do like a lot of the color story. I love purple. I love blue. I like some of the really sparkly colors. But you know how I feel about large eyeshadow palettes. This is overwhelming. I like the color story. I just give me a quad. Give me a quad of purple. Give me a quad of blue. 18 colors is a non merci for me. It's just too much. There's so much going on. I wouldn't like, where do I even start? Where do I? I mean, there's also a green. I just saw the green. The green is really nice. I feel like I would have this and I would discover a new shade every month, but it's really pretty. Objectively, it's nice, but it's a non merci. I like how they broke down the color stories. Like here are your neutral colors. Here are your cools. Here are your warms. For those of you at home who have a hard time, you know, differentiate, differentiating these types of things. It is nice. And when you look at it like this, honestly, if she had broken these down, into six colors, I think I would have been more tempted. If this was sold separately, I would be more tempted. Like the Celestial Nirvana Eyeshadow Palette, Five Pan, we've got Nude Allure and Bronze Bliss. The color story, I don't know if it's for me, but it is more intriguing than the 18 Shadow Palette. I really wish she had done those colors, broken down into six and sold them like that. I would have gotten the cool blue violet for sure. But these two here are definitely more neutral they look, there's no blue, there's no green, there's no purple. The top one is like a little bit more pink, but it's not like a violet fuchsia type of thing. So it's definitely kind of looks like more like work appropriate, nine to five. And then we have this divine blush and glow cheek palette. So it's a palette with four blushes and a highlighter. I, apparently their blushes are really nice. I haven't tried her blushes yet because there's just so much going on, but I've heard they're nice. So it's nice that there's a palette here. If you're not sure what to get and you've been on the fence about getting them, now you can get a palette with four blushes and a highlighter. And then we have the Sublime Skin Highlighter. It looks like one highlighter, Venusian Nude, Venusian? Venusian Nude? Sorry about that. And then a new blush, Nude Venus 2. These are separate. It's not a palette, but the swatches that she takes of highlighters and shimmer shadows always look so nice. We have some lipsticks here as well. It looks like a really pretty nude and a gorgeous red. I mean, red for the holidays, of course. We have these beautiful, colorful mascaras. We have an aquamar aquamarine dream, ultraviolet blue, pink mystique. I would get the ultraviolet blue and I would wear it with blue eyeshadow and I don't care what anyone says. I like it. Um, but yeah, that 
is that. That is the Pat McGrath holiday. There's a lot going on. I wish that the giant eyeshadow palette was broken down into six shadows. I would get the cool blue shadows with the violet ultra blue mascara and I would wear blue eyeshadow with blue mascara and I would enjoy my life. But realistically, am I going to purchase the Pat McGrath holiday collection? No merci. Probably, like, no. No merci. Like, I can look at certain things and say objectively, that looks great. I'm sure you'll be happy with it, but I'm not going to buy it. It's not for me. It's too much. It's too big. I have other holiday collections that I'm going to spend my money on. And that is that. I am very curious to see which collections Grace is interested in purchasing, which ones she is intrigued by. I feel like Tom Ford, she's definitely going to be more interested in and maybe Pat McGrath as well, more than me. So I'm really curious. So make sure to go check her out. Make sure to subscribe to her channel. If you haven't already, I mean, there's a good chance you already know who she is if you watch my content, but in the odd case that you don't know who she is, go say hi and tell her I sent you. Make sure to leave a comment down below on my channel as well, just to let me know which collections you are interested in, which collections you're saying we oui or non merci to. I'm very curious and I think that's all I have for you guys for today. So thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.